I'm Dr. Kevin Reeby. Um, I work for the Innova Health Institute and uh, I lead our prep demonstration project team. So how does this work? Do you have to take it at the same time every day? And is it like contraception where if you don't do that, then you lower your chances of using an effective drug? So the tablet is designed to be in the bloodstream for about 24 hours. So without being neurotic about it, it should be taken at a similar time of day every day. I like the, the twinning of this with a contraception model, a family planning model, because I think that could be the delivery system for young girls and adolescent women. When contraceptives were first introduced for women in the late 60s, 70s, there was quite a backlash against them, particularly by, by patriarchal men who were saying, oh, you're going to make these women promiscuous, they're not going to use condoms, they're going to go out there and have all of this sex. And in fact, we could expect the same kind of arguments to come in when you start giving young women PrEP because what it's doing is liberating them to have the sex that they want safely. So wouldn't it make people promiscuous? Wouldn't it lead to having sex without condoms? The best way to answer that is to go back to the evidence of all the trials that have been done on PrEP. None of those trials has shown that people increase their risk. So they didn't stop using condoms. Do you think young women will take it up in South Africa? If we market prep as if you are high risk and you are promiscuous and you're not using condoms and you're having all of this sort of inverted commas dirty sex then nobody's going to want to take this up because it will associate them with a very negative behavior so what we have to do is frame this intervention as here is something that responsible people will do these are people that are able to say right you know what i am sexually active i'm smart about it i recognize my risk i'm up to date with the science i know that there's a new intervention and that intervention may be right for me. Can you use PrEP and oral contraception together? Yes, you can. So there would be no interaction between us. In fact, PrEP is a really clean drug, or the, the two drugs that we use for PrEP are really clean. They don't interact with a lot of things at all. So most over-the-counter medications are fine. Uh, for people that like a little bit of alcohol or even recreational drugs, I'm not going to interact with those things. So it's pretty safe.